Hey there, future pharmacists. Welcome back to the RX Masterclass. We're tackling conversions, proportions, and dimensional analysis in this video. These are three essential skills that every pharmacist should master. Before we dive in, if you haven't already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's get into it. First up, common conversions. You'll often need to switch between units when working with medications. The NAPLEX will expect you to know these conversions off the top of your head. It is vital for you to memorize these so you don't waste any time on the NAPLEX exam and so you get these easy conversion questions correct. Beyond just the NAPLEX, you're going to be using these conversions throughout your career. So I would highly recommend knowing them and just reviewing them every single day until you have them down. Common liquid conversions. These pertain to volumes. So I would pause the video right here and write them down and just review them until you have them down. Common solid conversions. These usually pertain to weight. Again, pause the video and write these down and review them. And the last of them, common height conversions, milliequivalents, and millimoles. Again, pause the video right here, review them, write them down. Every day review them, you'll be using them throughout the calculation section. When converting units, you want to pay attention to rounding and when performing your NAPLEX calculations, rounding is very important. You want to round at the very end when you get your answer. You don't want to round at the very beginning of your calculations. This is because if you round at the very beginning, your final answer could be different. And on the NAPLEX, it's very important to wait till the end because it is fill in the blanks, so you'll need the exact number. So let's review rounding. First, you're going to identify the digit to the right of the number you're rounding. Focus on the underlying digit and follow these guidelines. If the number is 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, you're going to round down. If the number is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, you're going to round up. An example is you want to round 562.48 to the nearest whole number. We're going to be focused on that 4. So since it is 4, we're going to round down. So the answer is 562. Again, I just want to emphasize Never round until the last step of your calculations. Proportions. Proportions are your best friends when it comes to ensuring precise medication calculations. There are two ways to set up proportions in which we'll get into right now. The first way to set up a proportion is to match the numerator and the denominator of each fraction. Let's give it a try. The question is, a patient weighs 165 pounds. How much does the patient weigh in kilograms? Let's start off by looking at the conversion. We have pounds and kilograms. So we know in this type of proportion, we're going to be dealing with pounds to kilograms. So what was the conversion again? Yes, that's right. 2.2 pounds equals one kilogram. So we're starting off with 165 pounds. And we know 165 pounds is how much the patient weighs. And 2.2 pounds equals one kilogram. So we're going to ha set up the proportion 165 pounds over 2.2 pounds. And on the other side of it, we're going to set up X amount of kilograms over X, excuse me, over one kilogram, since one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. Since we already have the conversion memorized, we place those at the bottom. Then we solve for X. When solving for X, X is going to equal 75 kilograms, meaning the patient weighs 75 kilograms. Now let's explore the other way to set up a proportion. This way involves matching both numerators and both denominators. Given the same question and patient, we would set up the proportion as 165 pounds over X kilograms equals 2.2 pounds over one kilogram. When using this method, you want to make sure the units are equal to each other and you'll end up with the same answer, which is the patient weighs 75 kilograms. Now let's explore the other way to set up a proportion. This way involves matching both numerators and both denominators. Given the same question and patient, we would set up the proportion as 165 pounds over X kilograms equals 2.2 pounds over one kilogram. When using this method, you want to make sure the units are equal to each other, and you'll end up with the same. Now let's tackle dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis is a powerful method that can help you solve a wide range of pharmaceutical calculations. It's a different method than proportions, 
but don't be alarmed. You could use either one. Just pick whichever one best suits. When setting up dimensional analysis, we use the strategy of getting rid of the units we don't want to end up with the units we do want. In this case, we want to know how much the patient weighs in kilograms. Therefore, our answer will be in kilograms. If we want to get to end up with kilograms, we first have to get rid of the pounds. So you can see here, we're going to get rid of the pounds through the conversion and we end up with 75 kilograms, which is how much the patient weighs. When setting up dimensional analysis, we use the strategy of getting rid of the units we don't want to end up with the units we do want. In this case, we want to know how much the patient weighs in kilograms. Therefore, our answer will be in kilograms. If we want to get to end up with kilograms, we first have to get rid of the pounds. So you can see here, we're going to get rid of the pounds through the conversion and we end up with 75 kilograms. And again, just to emphasize, these calculations aren't just for your NAPLEX exam. They're also vital for your pharmacy career in general. Thank you for watching. As always, remember to take breaks while studying, check in on yourself, and please make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you have any questions or want to see more NAPLEX related content, drop them in the comments below. And as always, stay tuned for more educational videos with RX Masterclass. Thank you for watching.